What's going on guys, Dr. Eric here again, doing part four of how to optimize your lunge. So this is going to be why you should always have hip centration before ever starting to load a lunge, right? You don't want to get power generation off a decentrated hip, right? Decentrated hip looks like any kind of movement of the hip when you're going into single leg stance, right? So if you go into single leg stance, and you start to shift off the side over here, you start to shift this way, you lean back, any of these movements, rotation, this is called hip decentration. And when you try to push off of a decentrated hip, this is when injury happens, right? So I wanna show this with a stool. So I've purposely loosened up this stool to show you what this is like. So this stool is pretty much a decentrated hip, right? You can see there's wiggliness here, right? This is not staying in put. And you'll see that I can still push off of this as long as I feed into the dysfunction, right? If this wiggles out like this and I push into that spot and now try to push off of this, I can stand up on that fine, right? I wouldn't want this wiggling while I was doing that. I would probably fall over. So that's the same thing that will happen in your lunge, right? If you notice that you're kind of wiggling this way when you're in single leg stands and you shift off this way, all you got to do is right, feed into that, that dysfunction, and now I can force generate off of this, right? So that is where injuries cause, because if I keep doing this and I have a bent leg just like this, if I keep bending that leg when I'm trying to force generate off this, eventually I'm going to start wearing away all of my, my bursa that's on this side, and eventually I'm going to start having some serious hip issues, right? So it's very important to make sure that can I stabilize in this position first, right? So this actually may actually take a little bit more of attention to do. So if you need to have a video consultation with me, see if we can clear up your hip issues first before you start to weight your lunges, right? You don't want to be weighting lunges that are stuck, decentrated, and shoved into their dysfunction in order to power generate, all right? So check this out for yourself and contact me below on my Instagram if you needed to do a video consultation.